pipe A with double its efficiency and pipe B with 1.5 times its efficiency can fill a tank in 2.5 minutes. Pipe P is a filling pipe and pipe Q is an emptying pipe. Pipe P and pipe Q together can fill the tank in 60 minutes. Find the time taken by pipe A, pipe B and pipe Q together to fill the tank. Statement 1. Statement 1 says pipe A and pipe P together can fill the tank in 4.8 minutes. The ratio of efficient output ratio. And statement 2 here is pipe B and pipe P together can fill the tank in 60 by 11 minutes. Efficiency of pipe P is 1.25 times the efficiency of pipe Q. So that's the question here. Now you all understand that this is the data sufficiency question where we have to only find if the given data in these statements is sufficient to answer the given question or not. However, what Vidya Rajan has requested us to do is instead of just looking at it from the lens of data sufficiency, solve the question fully, right? Meaning use the data and arrive at the final answer. So let's try and do that. It's, it's an interesting one. It's all about writing down the equations properly and then solving those equations to get the required answer. So let's look at it. It says pipe A with double its efficiency and pipe B with 1.5 times its efficiency can fill a tank in two and a half minutes in 2.5 minutes all right in 2.5 minutes see let's uh, what what will be the efficiency of pipe a 1 by a let's say pipe a takes a minutes its efficiency will be 1 by a what will be the efficiency of pipe b it will be 1 by b right now pipe a with the double its efficiency so two times of its efficiency and so plus pipe b with 1.5 times of, of its efficiency so 3 by 2 times of its efficiency can fill a tank in two and a half minutes so it will be 1 by 2.5. Yes or no? Are you able to follow? Pipe A with double its efficiency. Its efficiency is 1 by A, double of that efficiency. Pipe B's efficiency is 1 by B, 3 by 2 times of that efficiency. 3 by 2 is nothing but 1.5. They take 2.5 minutes. See, you know that if the total time taken is 2.5 minutes, the capacity, total capacity together will be 1 by 2.5. Right? So that's one equation. Right? If you, if you simplify, what do we get here? Uh, we get uh, what? 2 by A plus... 3 by 2b equals to 1 by 2.5 which is 2 by 5 right that's one equation let's say then next statement here pipe b is a filling pipe and pipe q is an emptying pipe pipe p and pipe q together can fill the tank in 60 minutes again if you write down an equation pipe p and pipe q together can fill the tank in 60 minutes meaning 1 by p minus 1 by q equals to 1 by 60 that's a simple equation why are we using minus here because q is an emptying pipe right it's doing negative work so 1 by p minus 1 by q equals 1 by 60. Find the time taken by pipe A, B and Q together to fill the tank. A, B and Q together to fill the tank. Meaning we have to check uh, 1 by A plus 1 by B minus 1 by Q equals to what? If we get this answer, we will get 1 by something and that something will be the total time. Right? This is a capacity equation. This is a capacity equation. Reciprocal of that will give you the time. So he has given us two equations. 2 by a plus 3 by 2b equals to 2 by 5 1 by p minus 1 by q equals to 1 by 60 and he's asking us to find out 1 by a plus 1 by b minus 1 by q now these two equations you know have got how many variables four variables two equations in four variables cannot be solved so we have to use the data given in the statements now what is statement one pipe a and pipe p together can fill the tank in 4.8 minutes what does it mean 1 by a plus 1 by p equals to sorry 1 by a plus 1 by p equals to 1 by 4.8 right 1 by a plus 1 by p equals to 4.8 that's the equation we know and then ratio of the efficiency of pipe b and pipe p is 6 is to 5 respectively 6 is to 5 respectively meaning 1 by b let's 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 put everything in terms of efficiency i think all that we've got so far is only in terms of efficiency or capacity right so here again ratio of efficiency of b and p is 6 is to 5 so 1 by b is to 1 by p equals to 6 is to 5 so you can actually say P is to B equals to 6 is to 5. Yes or no? If their efficiencies are in the ratio of 6 and 5, time taken will be in the ratio of 5 is to 6. So time taken by B is to time taken by P should be in the ratio of 5 is to 6. That's what we have got. Time taken by B is to time taken by P is 5 is to 6. You're getting it? 1 by B is to 1 by P equals to 6 is to 5, which means P is to B equals to 6 is to 5. Or B is to P equals to 5 is to 6. So that's Two more equations right two more equations uh, now look at what is given in statement two pipe b and pipe p together can fill the tank in 60 by 11 minutes 
so 1 by b plus 1 by p equals to 1 by 60 by 11 which is 11 by 60 right efficiency of p is 1.25 times the efficiency of q so 1 by p equals to 1.25 which is 5 by 4 into 1 by q that's the other equation so overall if you see see we have got one and two equations here equation number one equation number two here now first statement has got two more equations so four equations in four variables can you solve all we want is a b and q values of a b q once you get a b q you will be able to solve the given question so if i use statement one alone i will be having a set of four equations one and two from questions itself question itself and three and four from the data in statement one four equations four variables can be solved maybe we'll be getting a b q and sim simplify that to get the answer so statement one looks like it will give the answer right similarly statement two if you see two more equations i mean if you want to simplify this further what does it give uh, 1 by p equals to 5 by 4 times of 1 by q so 4 q equals to 5 p 4 q equals to 5 p right again if you see statement two has got two more equations now two equations from the question data and two equations from the statement two data four equations and overall four variables can you solve yes you will get the values of a b p q once you get a b p q can you substitute a b q here yes will you be able to complete the answer yes so it looks like one and two independently will give you the answer one will give you the answer and two also will give you the answer so overall we can say either one or two should be sufficient either one or two should be sufficient to get the answer here but then like what vidya wants us to do is to solve it fully so let's try and solve it either use uh these two equations or use these two equations to get to the answer whichever is uh, compatible yeah you're getting it this is equation number three this is equation number four this is equation number five and equation number six so either use one two with three four or one two with five six solve to get the answer and i'm sure you can do that i mean I don't have to spend time in solving these equations, but with you, you must have understood the solution now, right? Like, for example, if you want to use, let's say, 5 and 6 with 1 and 2, we know the equation between Q and P. So maybe from here, you can say P equals to 4Q by 5. Substitute P equals to 4Q by 5, you will get the time taken by Q alone, right? If equation number 6 is used in equation number 2, you will get the time taken by Q alone, and then time taken by P alone, right? Then if you take put the time taken by P alone here, you will get the time taken by B alone. So you know the time taken by Q, P, B. Put the time taken by B in this equation number 1, you will get the time taken by A. So you will get all the 4 values. And substitute here to get the answer. Likewise, we want to use 3 and 4 along with 1 and 2. What happens? We know the equation in terms of P and B. So substitute P uh, in terms of B here in equation number 3 itself. Right? Substitute P in terms of B. Like we know that, uh, you know, P can be taken as uh, 5B by 6. So substitute P equals to 5B by 6. So you'll get 1 by A plus 1 by 5B by 6. So 1 by 4.8. That's one equation. Then another equation in terms of A and B. Two equations in terms of A and B and two variables you can solve. You can solve for A and B. You'll get A and B. Once you get A and B, you can substitute B here to get the value of P. Right? And then you can substitute P here to get the value of Q. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, all those equations have been solved. You can substitute A, B, Q to get the required answer. Right? So I am not spending time here in solving those equations. Also, I have that space crunch. Uh, but then you know what to do. So four equations, four variables. Uh, and how do we get these four equations? Two equations are a part of the question data itself. The other two are coming from each of the statements. So overall, I think we can say either one or two alone is sufficient to answer the question. And if you really want to solve it, do the complete solution but that's not required for actually marking the answer in the exam i'm sure all of you understand that so that's the solution for this question on data sufficiency